morning guys hope you're having a happy sunday we have a busy morning here by the way welcome back to our channel and Reso with high society kind of Corso. Uh, yeah we have a busy morning we're gonna get both the cars washed i have some really a lot of cleaning in the backyard to do this morning and then we're just gonna kind of run some errands and have fun with the dogs today don't forget to subscribe like and hit that notification bell storm actually had a little accident this morning because totally our fault we did not communicate who let the dogs out and who didn't so stripes ended up going out twice and storm not at all so when i came in from outside in the garage or washing the cars she had a pp accident which is fine we don't correct her for accidents that are our fault i know she didn't do it on purpose and god she it was so much pee like so much pee i know that she had held it for a long time poor thing so it is what it is. Accidents happen. She is potty trained, but it was our fault today. So we clean her tray, clean her crate all nicely. So she's clean and ready to go, and she has a fresh crate also. So we're giving Storm and Mike and baths today. We are using this one because they did just get back from training. And I just want to make sure that they don't have anything. We do have them on a flea and tick it up already but this is a natural one and honestly it smells so good and it makes their coats like super super shiny so this is what we've been using it's by tropic clean and so far we really like it <laughs> Come on. he's having a bath we just really got to get her legs and feet good her body's so really not confirm whether we have more soap no Look at mama. Storm moves even bad. This hose. <laughs> this hose has a mind of its own. It sprayed us multiple times today. Cole, how do you even turn it off? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. How do you even turn this off? It's gonna spray me. Ah! Who's all clean? It's fully broken now. Hold this. In her. Technical difficulties. I think I'm just gonna have to go turn it off over there. We need to go to Home Depot and get a new one. Oh, don't drink that water. Here's a clean girl. We start off Sundays with cleaning, huh, Storm? We clean the house, we clean our cars, and we clean our pups. I wanted to go bring Storm inside, and now I can't find her or my husband. I don't know where they went. It's the disappearing dog act, I guess, today. Found him. I guess he took her on a walk while I put the crate up. He found daddy? Look at him. Look at him. Who's he with? Look at him. No, baby, don't run in the road, please. Gee, what did mommy say? Not in the road. I was looking for y'all. Okay, you want to take her in? Inside, Mama. Look at her. Oh, clean girl. Oh, clean girl. Clean girl. Looking good, Storm. Looking good. Looking good, Mama. Thank you for kisses. Come on, go to your crate real quick. Come on, baby. Let's go in the crate. Look, fresh crate. Mama cleaned it. You happy now? She was so upset when she peed too. She just cried because she knew she's not supposed to do that. And it was just an accident maybe. We're not mad at you. 
We're not mad at you. It was mama's fault. Yeah, mama's sorry. So now we're gonna do the dog juggle, as I call it. She in the crate. I gotta get stripes in from outside. Oh my God, she's still eating. She's been outside for like 30 minutes eating, but granted she eats like a lot of food. We feed her like, honestly like eight or nine cups of food and she's like not fat, but she'll eat it. She's going at it now. I gotta bring Lincoln in from the dog room. We rotate them. That way it's just a dog fiasco in the house at one time. We do let them out to play together outside in the yard, but like my son's stuff is like everywhere. I just don't want them to choke or anything. We're honestly just knock him over by accident. Like my brother-in-law saw Kingsley. My God, my son went to jump. Uh, we were at my in-laws yesterday. He went to go jump on the trampoline and Kingsley has never got up into the trampoline before. And as soon as he saw my son get in there, my son was standing at the entrance. They have like a net, like a protective net on it. And he literally jumped into our son and knocked him down. So we are really careful with how our dogs are with our son. And that's just not what's gonna be happening here at this house, so. We kind of keep them not running around in the house as much. Hello. Hello, beautiful girl. Hi, beautiful mama. Hi, beautiful mama. Oh my God, Stripes, you are the only one that ruins my pants. The only one. Why is it always you? Come on. Where'd you go? Come on, where'd you go? Here. Great. Stone, ah, oh, Stripes. Look, Stripes. She is the least trained, as you can see. Just running around rampant. No, mama. Come on. Good girl. Good crate. Good girl. Good girl. Mama needs to clean her crate today, too, huh? Yeah, but you had a bath yesterday, and then you got all muddy. But she actually had kind of an incident. She gets kind of confused. She's not like, we haven't really formally trained her, to be honest. We just kind of make it a part of her daily life. So she's gotten a lot better with like learning sit and down and crate, you know, as we've had her here for a while now. But she is so, so sensitive. Like you cannot give her corrections really yet. She's like really not, not that confident yet. You know, I don't really know what her, how she was kind of brought up before she came to us, but she's just not as confident, nowhere near a storm or like how Lycan is. So um, the other day she was like going crazy and we told her no, like kind of harsh. She's like, no, you know, Oh, gross. There's like some type of weird bug right there. Um, and she has been like so sensitive ever since. She like hesitates now coming back in the house. And so just gotta get her back right, you know. We have to really work with her every day, building her confidence. How we do that is like we start playing toys with her and like give her positive question. But it's like as soon as I yelled at her for what she did, like I was just like, damn it, like I set the training back, you know. So when you have a super sensitive dog, you have to be careful about that and be aware of it. And shit, it's my fault. Mama's just making lots of mess ups today, huh? Like, and Mama's making mess ups. But that's okay. We're all gonna get right. He is so excited. Like him. Go, 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 go. Big boy, big boy. What you doing, big boy? Ooh, get away from that weird bug. I don't know what that is. We just sprayed the yard and the bug spray. Gotta clean up the yard. They've just pooped everywhere again. It's like nonstop poop episodes here. Who makes so much poop poop? Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on, we're gonna have a bath. We need to have a bath. He's gotten like honestly so much bigger since, leave that, since he came back. Wow, do you see that? He peed right on top of their poop. But now he's a man. He started to lift his leg when he pees um, quite a bit. He didn't do that now, but quite a bit now. I've noticed in the kennel, he'll lift his leg and pee on our fence over there, starting to mark his territory a little bit. But see, he's marking right now because everywhere the girls have peed back here and gone poop, he is now peeing over all those spots. Look how confident he is. That tail. Look, over every single spot. Crazy boy. Lycan, they know. They know you're a big man now. They know. Leave that. You better not mark inside my house, boy. You're gonna have problems. Especially since Storm just had an accident in there. We'll go party first because we're going to give you a bath. He's literally looking for every single spot that they peed at or went to the bathroom at. Look, there's poop there.
Sit. Good boy. Good sit. So what's interesting is he went for training, and the trainer we sent him to, his name is Butch Kappel, super, honestly, really renowned trainer amongst the Corso community, and he kind of has a little bit different way of training. He doesn't train them with here or come, he just with their name, and I've noticed that that works a lot fast, like faster and better for them. Lycan, look, look at that. He'll come back immediately. And then he's trained them with an emergency command when you say front, the dog to come to you because they know if there's an emergency or like say they run into the road, you say front, but you barely use that when you practice it really mainly with food time and things like that. So that way they know if it's a serious situation what you're asking them to do. Our son's playing with some rocks. What is he playing with, rocks? No, a play board that got stuck oh. Good boy. He has such fine hair. Mm -hmm. When you like wet it, it's like so thin. Good boy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hey, baby. Daddy's trying to give you a bath. Oh, mommy's falling. You turn it off. Is it on? I think it's coming off in pieces or something, babe. Yeah, it's, it's clay board, right? Oh, it's for the clay board for the car. Who loves bats? Look at him. Who likes their bats? Notice every time you stop petting him, he's like, do some more. Do some more. Get his head, baby, in the face when I put it. Let him get some of this energy out before we wash it. He's so hyper. No, Jude, stay out of the street. Jude, get out of the street. Jude, no road, please. Jude. No, baby, come on. He wants to play with you. <laughs> no, baby. Jude, Jude, watch out, please. Leave it. Like a no. No. Here. No. Down. Good boy, go down. Leave it. Down. Go down. Good boy. Go down. Good boy. Jude, leave that. straight up. He's like storm, confident. That's why he was peeing on all their spots earlier. I'm watching TV with my mama, handsome boy. Who's mama's handsome boy? Come on. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Oh, don't tell daddy. Don't tell daddy. My sweet boy. Mm, good boy. Good boy. So today is Lycan's turn to have a fun day out with the family. We're going to take him to a park and... Our son's been asking to go to park all day. Lycan, look at Mama. <gasps> hi, big boy. Hi, oh, hi, big boy. 
Hi, big boy. I love him. You love him? Well, I'm glad you love him, baby. Where are we going? Going to the park? Is he licking you, giving you kisses? That's okay. It's funny? It's daddy dog. Daddy be right back. I don't know, I'm really not sure where daddy went. He'll be right back though. Get the dog do nice nice. I cannot reach. You can't reach. It's okay. He'll come to you in a little bit, okay? Just let him relax, okay? I'm watching you. Oh my gosh. All you want to do is snuggle with mommy. Here. I know you want to take a nap too. Where's little Jude? Come on, Jude, you can do it, baby. Which slide are you going to, Jude? Come on. Just got done at the park. Lycan did really, really well. He didn't like have any mess ups, honestly. He was really good. Um, my husband did a few like just stay commands with him from like really far in a recall. And we're just working with him more, getting him out around more people. We do plan on showing him. Um, he turns two. Is he like one? He'll turn, once he turns two, we'll start really showing him. But right now, it's about really getting him trained and, like, really super, super socialized. So that way, like, a judge can come up and they can touch him. Like, you know, he won't have any type of response to that. So we're working on that with him currently. And um, our son decided he saw another little boy at the park with a Happy Meal. So he decided that he wants a Happy Meal now. So we're going to go get him a little snack and something to munch on. Say hi, Jude. Hey, Bubba. And then we're kind of just relaxing and lounging for the rest of the day. We are going to be making some lamb chops and some steak bites for dinner tonight. So I think I'll have my husband share his recipe because when I tell you this man can cook. We also stopped at the pet store to get them some new collars. What are you making, Bunny? Some lamb chops. And, and what's over there? Kebabs. Kebabs, kebabs. How are you Lebanese and you say kebab like that? Because they're kebabs, I'm from Texas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm -hmm. How are you going to marinate it? Good. This one is going to eat her food. But sometimes in the middle when she's eating, I like to come and like throw some training commands at her. So after she's done itching herself. Storm, leave it. Good girl, good leave it. Storm sit. Good sit. Storm down. Good girl, yes. Storm, yes. Just kind of keeps her on her toes and she knows she has to work for her food. She's a good puppy, very respectful. I'm doing the steak bites in this one, the bulgogi seasoning with the sauce. And then, what did you do with the lamb chops, babe? Just a little salt, pepper, garlic. Mm. Sweet and simple. But anyways, guys, just had a lovely dinner. My son actually has started to potty train himself, which is interesting. We just kind of bought the potty for him, and he's been using it. So he's good job, baby. He's doing a good job. And um, we will catch you on another episode of A Day in Life with the County Corsos. Bye, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.